Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to these Doom Dials, a sort of god game city building roguelike deck builder that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. Played it about two months ago and I really, really liked it. It has since received an update to the demo that has added a new god to play as with a new playstyle, new cards, etc, etc. So it seems like a good reason to check it out again because I really wanted to play another round. Uh, if you did not see that last video, don't worry, I'll go over the basics, but let's very quickly go through Plutus's stuff. He's a god of wealth. So when we redraw our hand, we get gold equal to how many times we've redrawn this turn. When you place land, gain gold for each statue on your island. And at the start of the year, if you don't have a statue, add a statue. So here we go. We got these cards to start with. They'll become relevant as we get in. But let's go over the basics again, if it doesn't uh, give us a brief tutorial again. It's the dawn of a new world. Your followers wait in anticipation to see where you will take them. Will you lead them to glory, or will you lead them to their doom? Let's get to it. Choose a god power card to add to your starting deck. They cannot be harvested. Once they're gone, they're gone for good, so use them wisely. Uh, god power, 8 damage to enemies adjacent to or diagonal to statues that you have. Repeat the effects of any statues that have been built in the last harvest, which I think is a just a year. Uh... Hmm. You know, we'll go for that one. So basically, we are given a random set of prayers that we have to complete. Once we do all three of these things, we will win the game. So we need to build two wonders, maintain eight followers, and 70% or higher happiness for four turns. Defeat two waves of enemies without any of your buildings taking damage. All right. So, as it starts off here, basically we have our base that we do need to defend. We have little houses. This is how we're going to be getting more followers. Uh, but you'll also see on the bottom, like right here, it has four times we can play this. This can be played four times. If it doesn't have that, it means we can only play it once. You see the infinite. This is obviously one of our god powers. So, therefore, we can use this infinite times. It does cost resources. You can see in the upper left how much it costs to play. But we're going to want to definitely use houses here. If we build within the radius of our temple, we gain faith per turn, which is up uh, here. Faith is mostly used for re-rolling cards. Let's pop that down. Pop down the other mud house. As long as we're within one of the tiles is touching that little radius, we're good to go. Gain one food and one happiness for each tree on your island, and then remove up to 25% of your trees. Can't help but to notice I don't have any. So another thing is we can uh, go ahead and build our land out trying to reach the other island. As much as I do want to have it a, like in a nice clean chunk and fill it out, we kind of just want to blitz it, move as fast as possible. So I don't think I... This is going to be to defend us from attackers when it eventually happens. It's not relevant right now. We're going to do this. Harvest ends the turn, which it will end summer. Uh Oh, since the last harvest. Okay, never mind. Okay. Let's go ahead and re-roll, though. It costs four faith. You can see the hearts there. There's the forest land. We can't quite make it here. I'll pop it up there. So we're going to want to put down these force. They cost uh, some faith. You know, we're going to put them down regardless. We can rotate. We can flip. We can do all of that jazz. I think for now, we'll do it like that. And then we're pretty much just going to have to harvest unless we want to demolish a tile. Which I don't really want to do. Harvest. Okay, so at the end of the turn, we can purchase cards from a shop basically with the gold we've accrued buying land is a good idea like a very good idea gain a gold per follower minus five percent happiness if played again this turn interesting fishing platform each worker will provide plus one food per turn for each fish within range depletes fish tiles in range each turn i think getting a little bit of that i'll get the taxation and you know what? I'll get the treasury as well. We could even spend a little bit of gold gold, and re-roll. Remove mercenaries in range. 
One food for every two fish tiles that are currently visible. Each worker provides a happiness per turn for each follower in range. I'm going to grab some houses. And I think we'll just call it there. Got a hell of a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got some fish tiles. There's a couple in radius. I don't think that there's anywhere I can get... Ooh, 4 to 12 per turn. All right, never mind. I take it back. I'm glad we did this weird little peninsula thing. Pop that down. Taxation. Gold per follower. We only have four. And this only has four uses, so I think I'm going to wait until I get down a couple more houses. Okay, so we've connected to that island, which will activate an event whenever we do that. Uh, the earlier on in a run, the better the events will be for us. Your followers gaze in wonder at the world you've created. What more could they wish for? Gain the overjoyed relic. When you end a turn with excess happiness, gain that much faith. This is happiness. This is faith. Max out your happiness and faith reserves. <sighs> Ooh... I feel like we might be able to get a really nice jump start because of that. Treasury, I don't think it's really too much. I don't think it's urgent, right? Townhouse, let's go ahead and build that. Faith when occupied. We currently don't have enough people. I believe we need to get high happiness and faith in order to get new followers, which is fine. We're working on that. All right, where else do we want to connect to get more events? It feels like this is a no-brainer. We can do that with one. Your followers have captured enemy scouts. They claim to have abandoned their post and begged to join your settlement. Gain five followers or increase your happiness to 100. I'm going to grab uh, the five followers. We currently don't have houses for two of them, though, which is going to make them a little bit unhappy. Yeah, we have two homeless followers. Go ahead and connect here. Oh boy. This is going to be a bad. Gain one food and 1% happiness for each tree. We're, this is only a one-time use thing, so I really am going to... I'm going to wait on that one. Until we at least have a little bit more. Since it doesn't seem like this faction cares about, like... The placement? I mean, I, well, maybe we'll still get buildings where it'll matter. The, the placement of the trees and stuff. So I might come to regret that. Alright, where are we going to try and connect? This seems like a decent direction to move. Alright, it's now winter. Our happiness is going down quite a bit. It's, yeah, it's due to the homelessness, which, you know, I will work to get more housing when I can. Fix that up. One of your followers seems to be taking great pleasure in working their subordinates until they're dead on their feet. Max out happiness and faith or max out wood and stone reserves. The faith reserves are tempting. We currently don't have any stone generation, though. Like, zero. Literally none. Man, I wish we used more stone, or eh, more uh, wood and stuff, though. Sure. We'll max that out. It's a little bit, a little bit goof. Okay, we'll do a little connect on that. One more event. Oh, hey, well, would you look at that? We didn't even have to choose. I feel like a treasury is fine. Just, like, what if we got an event that was, like, uh, you know... God, where do we put the bank? Is it a bank? Treasury. Put it here. Somewhere where we can kind of protect it. Let's go for a reroll. Which would give us a little bit of gold. More land? I don't know, man. We could connect to this. It's not a very usable piece of land. I think connecting over here is a decent use of time forest. If I remember correctly, the um, the lumberjack hut, or whatever the hell it's called, is like a three 
wide tile. I'll go for taxation. We get 14 bucks. Now that's good. We can roll again and... I thought we would get more money. Where do I see my character's abilities? I don't know if I can. One food and 1% happiness. I mean, we're fine. We don't need to bother with that yet. Just in case. Minus 5% happiness if we do it again. I don't think I really want to do that. I can go ahead and roll one more time here. We're moving our way out. Connected. Give me gold. Your people prosper, but they do so at the expense of the very world that provides them with everything they need. Something has to give. Oh. If discarded, lose a faith per follower. If discarded, replace a random tree on your main island with a burning tile. Ooh, don't love that. Don't love either of those. Don't love either of those at all. I feel like, because here's the thing, this repeats my statues, but I don't really feel like I need to do that quite yet. Ah, okay. Oh, it's, it repeats one time. That's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, do we even bother rolling again? I think we're good to go. Could have sworn we were supposed to be getting gold, though, for uh, for our re-rolls as our character. But hey, taxation, we can afford to get away with this once. We just don't want to do it a second time. This is going to be the last thing before the forest is depleted. That's fine. Minotaur charge, irrelevant. One fishing tile has been depleted. I mean, what are we going to, you know, what are we going to do? Just not do it? Do one roll. We have two more uses of taxation. We're pretty much out of cards. Like, we're just kind of... Kind of vibing. Enemies are approaching. We're vibing until the next harvest, which is really, really rough here. Gain one food and 1% happiness for each tree on your island. Does it say how much it'll give us? 31 food, 31 happiness. Okay, so we, we want to wait until we're at uh, 69. <laughs> We want to wait until we're at 69 of uh, the higher one. We want the higher one to be 69 out of the two. So that's actually incredible. Hell, we could even wait and then do that and the other uh, statue repeater. Okay, do I roll? There's no reason to roll here. Okay, we need housing bad. Gain of food for each building on your island. I'm going to take a longbow tower for sure. Rockfall. We have so much money. I'll get the logging camp for after I place the other statue. Forgers. For every four stone in your storehouse, gain an iron. I'm definitely taking that. Uh, fish is really good. I think I'll take foragers. Quarry. Another taxation? I think that's I think that's a good idea, to be honest. <laughs> each worker provides two wood per turn for each working logging camp. Convert all stone into iron. We're maxed out on that. Quarry. I think having a quarry sounds smart, though. I'll buy a Spartan. Attacks adjacent. Ten attack strength. Five gold per year. I don't really want to go for the Triton statue. I'll take a mud house. I'll take land, thank God. All right. There we go. We, we really thickened up our deck. Uh, we got one of these. We get an award. Cards played this turn have zero resource costs. Or eight damage to enemies adjacent to or diagonal to statues. So, I do know that one of our objectives is this, which is to defeat two waves of enemies without any buildings taking damage. So that seems quite good. Townhouse, definitely going to pop that in here. Longbow range. Um, 
tower. I think we'll, I want it close, but not so close that it's like eating into my um, my base. Eh. We'll do that. It's not my favorite. One food for each building on the island. On the island. We also uh, will attack diagonal. So it's like one, two. Let me see this. So we can build it right about here and it'd be fine. Eight food. Not that we really probably should have gone for that yet. Repeat the effects. I don't think we want to go for that at the moment. Fish will go in the range of here. One, two... Well, there's already one over, over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe even nine. Can't tell if this is a tile. All right, it's fine. Taxation. You can do it once. It doesn't doesn't anger them. Four food, two wood. So our happiness is really the only thing that's in super bad check right now. Seems irrelevant how many things that are by, but they might um, they might deplete them. Quarry, two to four stone per turn. Whoo, there we go. I can't rotate this to be clear. So I'll just pop that there. Spartan. It's five gold. If you miss two consecutive payments, this unit will turn against you. I shall have faith. I don't know if we need to go for a reroll. At this point, I think it's a little bit sco spooky. Spooky. We got... Enemies attacking from the southwest. Built adjacent to land. I mean, am I going to risk this? I think so. That's like... It just gives us so much value. Uh, okay. Max out wooden stone reserves. Happiness and faith reserves. There we go. That's the way to go for sure. Forestopolis up here. Why not? Mud housing. Get a little bit more housing. Okay. Okay. All right, enemies attacking next turn from the southwest. I would love to keep this card, so I kind of want to... I guess I was going to say we'll shuffle there. And we'll put the other Spartan here. It's a little bit spooky. Did we tax this turn? We did not. Good. I don't think I played any statues this turn. Dionysus. Again, it's a waste. Like, it sucks. I, I meant so much food and happiness now. Now it's like, I, but it's technically suboptimal to not use these because I don't get an extra statue at the beginning of the year. So it's just kind of weird. Oh, you know what? This made a mistake. I had such perfect... Can I demolish this? That'll work. All right, let's hit the new year. Okay, so we need to... Uh, this shouldn't be a problem. Six gold for that. Hey, I know this is probably uh, bad timing, but I'm going to go ahead and tax you guys. Diagonal or adjacent? Costs a hell of a lot, though. Two damage on a single tile. I think that's probably fine. This is why I saved up my reserves. I'm going to wait on that one. The Spartans are probably fine. I'm going to wait until there's a clean spot for that, I guess.
everything is fully occupied. So we're fine. There's nothing adjacent to our diagonal. Losing quite a bit of money. Minotaur charge. I just don't want to chance it since I know what our, um, our requirement is, you know? Let's place the big lands just so we don't uh, so we don't get it again. Run a little bit of a risk here that this could be bad. Lose all your wood and stone or add a tremor. We're gonna go ahead and add a tremor. We can just play it. There we are. Okay, so there we go. We got we got all of them out of the way with spells. We don't have to worry about it. So that is one of our two damage list. Like, I know that these guys would successfully defend us. I'll take a little bit of a hit to the happiness at this point. I think we end it. Tremor. Let's go ahead and play that. That's so much better than the other the penalty. What the hell? I know these could be negative. When you end a turn with excess happiness, gain that much faith. Excess happiness. Yeah, about that. We're going to need more houses before that's a possibility. I'll tell you what. Let's, uh... Let's believe in ourselves. This is overloaded with fish already. I think we're good. We really need... Yeah, I was going to say, we really need another shop. Plus 100 storage for food. Food for every two fish tiles that are currently visible. I'm fine on that. Okay. I, I think I'm fine on the lightning. I don't want to thicken up my deck too much. Game stone for each rock. Definitely get the townhouse. A wonder. 60 to maximum faith and double your current faith. 80 gold storage, double current gold. We definitely want both of those. And I'll grab a rock fall. So, our mercenaries may turn on us, but I gotta be honest. I don't tell them, but I don't care that much. Okay. 60 to max faith and double your current faith. You know, I'm fine with where it's at. Yeah, if we just double it right now. Oh, it's a 2 by 3 I kind of want it protected, though. Can't flip it. This is a little bit spooky. I got to put it pretty far out. Land. I'm going to risk it. Uh, for every four excess food generated each turn, gain a gold. That's so good. Ma oh. We're almost done, though, right? Like, haven't we almost won the run? So we, if we just max out our gold reserves, aren't we maybe, like, fine? For every four excess food, generate one gold. This gives us a reason to play, like, the Dionysus... The, uh... It's a Dionysus. The Tree Man card. This is good right now. Just for the gold. I'm gonna I'm gonna have faith in myself. Okay, so we need more stone reserve. We roll that. Select any unlocked card to add to your hand, excluding wonders. Alright, we're gonna finally play the Dionysus. We're gonna want it by our base. So that gives us. Oh, interesting. Did that not give us uh extra gold? I kind of thought it would, because we most definitely just generated excess food. But okay. If you say we didn't, I'll take your word for it. I don't know where to put this. You want to connect to that little tiny dinky land? I 
Okay, we have Demolish. We have oh, so many hearts left. Ay, ay, ay. I think we have to end, though. It's just, like, it's getting silly. Yeah, I kind of just need to vibe until we can get um, extra stone storage or or something like that. Oh, my God. The fact that we actually have housing. We have housing for our units. Finally. It, I will say I don't regret what I did for a second because we had so many, like, we had so many ways to fix up our happiness. Like, they were upset because of the housing. There's so many ways to fix the happiness that it was totally worth it, though. Should I just get... Oh, my God. Stone storage. What was it? Uh, stone mason. No. Have I rolled past it? It said we can't pick wonders. So I'm going to take your word for it. Jeez, there's so many. Build it up. There's all these statues. Storehouse. There we go. That should more or less be our guarantee of a victory. You will see. I'm willing to risk it. I'm a crazy guy. Uh... Palisades and stone walls heal fully at the start of each turn. I don't have any. Or max out your wooden stone reserves. I'll max out my stone reserves. That sounds divine. Now we can literally just roll until we get the Colosseum. 80 gold storage and double your current gold. Dude, we're losing a lot at the end of this turn, so I'm just going to say sure. Okay. Claim the reward for that. I have not used the that one a single time. I could see myself using this, though. I want to stop drawing this. All right. Can I... Can I dismiss you? I don't know. Without... You've really... I, I've... It's the biggest penalty I've had. Can I demolish him? <laughs> I could probably zap him with lightning. I do wonder. Don't forget to remove workers. I don't think that I need to bother with that, though. Because am I not maxed out everywhere? Yeah, why would you even tell me that? Literally every building I have is maxed out. Why would that matter? Um, Dionysus. Again, it's probably a waste. Roll here. I think we're just kind of fine until combat shows up, right? Enemies are going to be approaching. So we know that we have this stuff, which, I mean, I guess at this point we kind of just want to um, play cards and get rid of them. Man, I, I just haven't needed to dupe I haven't, I haven't needed to spend 12 faith to dupe the effects of one statue. I've, I've just not been that desperate anywhere. Delve. It's a fun one. What would I... What would I want? Probably just, um, like another lightning. Meteor storm. All right. Gold reserves are low. We're going to... Uh... Sorry, dude. Minus six. If we fail two times, we'll have a problem. I'm going to do this just in case I was wrong and it gave us gold. It didn't. I, I kind of wish it did. I it feels like maybe it should. Catapults. Sure thing. Requires two workers. Could be a problem. One gold for each rock on your island. Remove up to 25% of the rocks. We'll take that too. It doesn't matter. Enemies approaching from the north. That's going to require gold. 
which is kind of funny if you think about it. All right, here we are. Um, they're coming from the north. Probably here then. So we got 56 gold just like that. I'll repeat it. That's that's worth it. That's the first time that's been worth it. Okay, two workers required. That this may be the first time we um have something not maxed out. Is the catapult manned? Yeah, the catapult's manned. Okay, good. God, yeah, that early um double boost was just too juicy. And now we can really we could just throw out everything. It doesn't really matter. Uh lightning rock fall minotaur charge. Boop, 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 boop. So finally we gotta use that god card we got right away. Okay. get out of here. I think we just hit New Year and we're good to go. Okay, so that's pretty far away. The good news is we do have lightning and just an obscene amount of rerolls. Oh my lord. <laughs> Defeat two waves of enemies. Face your doom. Alright, here we go. Boss is gonna attack next turn. I should be fine. Kind of playing things just to get rid of them here. All right, so I don't care too much about the uh, the whole not taking damage now. It wouldn't really matter to me. Roll. I feel like it's not worth it. Can I demolish you? No. Is it worth a meteor storm just to get that one guy? Oh, we have a Loch Ness monster. Uh oh. Do a little bit of that. Probably should have done it like this. Yeah, nah. It's a mistake. Should roll again. I mean, I can keep on going, so I guess so. Everything is free this turn. As long as... I mean, we have to roll for it. I'm gonna ch regret this, I'm pretty sure. But let's just keep on rolling while we only have to pay the, uh, the Minotaur charge cost. It's four to do a guaranteed two damage. We're going to be gaining 22 next turn. So it seems worth. Probably should have just done that a couple times too. All right. We're all good there. The monster's coming. The monster's coming. We have so much gold. Let's just go ahead and roll and buy aggro stuff. Alright. Let's get lightning. Lightning should be really good. Hoplites. I mean, I guess so. We have so much gold. Convert your stone to the iron. Palisade. I don't know that I have anywhere to put it, unfortunately. I'll buy it. I'm gonna regret that. We don't want to go too far down. Whole lot of wood. Plus three attack to all units. Uh, 60 wood, 30 iron. I don't have enough iron. Well, you know, we're probably just good to go. Stone wall, I mean, yeah. I'll get some land. Because then, you know what? Then I can build the wall. Remove mercenaries in range. I think this is just, it's just fine. the thing. We can do that, and then we can put down the palisade. 
That worked out well. Put Hoplite here. Lightning, you should be... Yeah. A wet unit. Okay, don't do that. He's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. I think what I'm gonna do is... Wait... To generate a little bit more so we can go for the reroll. He's so far away. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wanna wait until we get that. One food for each building on here. It doesn't matter. Does this do a thing? Nah, there we go for the reroll. Everything is currently free. They're gonna disband. By the time this son of a gun actually makes it to me, they're gonna disband. So I gotta I do have to be kind of careful there. Just kinda wanna get that card out of here, to be honest, at this point. I don't I don't yeah, I don't really want to play the other one. We can roll for the lightning while it doesn't cost anything. Get that card out of here. We'll do the reckless charge while it's free. Palisade. I don't know, dude. Pop it there. We don't really need it. Hoplite, I don't want to. Go for the charge. Do we have any more lightning? That's our last of the lightning. You're at eight. We're, we're almost done. All these freaking buildings are going to be worth nothing. Tell you what. Let's let him play. Let's let him play. And by that, I mean, let's let my units kill him. I am worried about our gold, is the whole thing. That's literally just it. Because I hired all these guys hoping that, you know, they would be useful. But boy, oh boy, we've been able to just murder him from forever away. This doesn't matter. Is there a gold income? There we go. We'll get a little bit of that. Should be good. 15 gold. That helps. Come here, guy. I'm a gitch. One of these days, I'm a gitch. Come here. Come here, Nessie. Okay, you do some damage. Oh, you've also restored health. That's good to know. I did not know you could do that. So in that case, screw you. Sixteen. Fourteen. We can literally just keep on rolling in Minotaur charging due to this. That's crazy. How much do you do? You do two attack? All right, I'm bringing this son of a gun down to four health, and if you guys can't do anything, then I'm upset. I'm a hero. Oh! I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I'll admit. All right, so... They came to play. We actually kind of have to do this then. Is it stupid? Yes. Very much so. It's basically spend four, uh, four bucks or four whatever. Four faith in order to do two damage. I'm going to pause. I'll be back when I'm done with this. All right. If he smack, he's, he could probably kill one of them in one hit, can he? Almost. Nine. Nine faith to do that much seems bad. I'll take taxation so we can get gold back. That sounds good. I'll take a Spartan for when I need it, and then I'll get a little bit of an extra statue. Let's do one more roll here. Single use copy of the next card you play.
10 gold for each monument, chapel, shrine, and range. I mean, we certainly could. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we're going to want that happiness, though. Holy crap, I just realized how low that is. And we also don't even have very many trees anymore. I have a whole lot of stuff there. I shall blast you. Shall we roll? Do we bother? I don't really want to take another uh, another penalty. All right. He's going to attack. Which one? Are you going to attack this one and kill it? Save me a little bit of money at the very least. Okay. Then we put down another Spartan. Just say, sure. But we are going to be sort of running out of money. We've got to make sure we go for the taxation. Thank God we have, like, lots of followers. And it won't really matter. I wouldn't mind getting you down towards my statues. That'd be wonderful. Do I bother with this? Probably not. Now you have a hundred. All right, cool. Good to know, good to know, good to know, good to know. Do I demolish? I could demolish and put down another Spartan that has 10 attack strength, so this just doesn't take 12 years. It's kind of just where I'm at. We have the 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. I don't know what's the deal with the hoplite. Where are you? What's... You just cheaper? The music went away. Get the taxation. That's the last of it for us. You got 72. Don't really want to demolish again. As he gets closer, he will at least be in range of kind of like my other stuff. Uh, we need happiness. We need it pretty bad. How do we get so many freaking followers? Get both of those at the same time. Big land, I'm going to say no. Follower range gains happiness for each other. I mean, that'll actually work. Taxation. I'll need another taxation at some point here. 2% happiness for each turn since you last played taxation or democracy. We'll grab that. I'm going to get a, uh, a catapult. How are we doing for money? Okay, pretty bad. Pretty bad. We're going to need to um, do the one taxation at the very least. Get the extra housing. That'll help stop. Okay. There's our whoop, happiness back to max. So let's play all of our rocks before playing this. Get the other Spartan. What's the range on that? Okay. Dude, you guys, you're annoying. Um, I'm just going to demolish the rock and put it here. That'll help a lot with speeding things up. For each turn since you last played Taxation or Democracy. Okay, so we'll just wait on that one. Community, we could... We'll save it. We're actually going to be good on that now. We could even just do another taxation right now since we know that we'll be able to use this a couple times and just fix the entire problem. Just like that entirely. So that's pretty cool. We'll do the rock fall. Make sure we have another way to get more money. I don't know, dude. What kind of health does this have even anyways? Big rock. I wish we could disband these cleanly. We're low on food. That's not great. We'll probably mean people will start dying at least a little bit, which I don't hate. We put this statue here. We get a little bit of gold. We can also go ahead and utilize the, um, the statue blast move now, finally. And it actually be doing something. 10 health. We actually should win now. Yes. Just in time for things to turn kind of awry. I'm assuming three heads is the max, right? Like it's a Hydra. Okay. Dang, man. I'll admit that guy was a little bit spookier than I thought. I wish we didn't put all these units down here. Or I wish they could at least, you know, like move. Maybe they can. Can they move if they're not? I don't know. 
I don't know if they're in fixed positions, because it's hard to tell because we put them all in fixed positions, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, alas, alas. That got messy at the end because I didn't realize that weird slow man was going to have three phases to him. Hey, hey. We did it. It's crazy times, but we did it. <laughs> The game is, it's just like a really relaxing, fun format. The boss fight situation is, is kind of goofy on it, just because, like, the combat is not quite as, like, satisfying as just the puzzly building element of it. I think there's something about the fact that the units take up, like, fixed locations on the map, and then they just completely stop you from building there and they seem as far as i'm aware they're rigid like i wish that they were kind of units were like a more fluid thing and they could move on top of other tile spaces like units could occupy a housing space or something like that or a wall space i think that would be really fun i think it would feel a little bit cleaner but hey alas alas we did it and it was not despite what it may have seemed like it really wasn't that close um yeah alas Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Link in the top description if you want to check out the game for yourself. Make sure you wishlist it. Check out the demo if it's still up. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.